Okay, let's talk about this Arduino Pro Micro board. So I bought them somewhere on eBay, got them at home and try to work with them. Unfortunately, I've tried using uh, the board Arduino Micro, but this is not Micro, this is Pro Micro. So while I was trying to burn it, so let's see what happened. One of the board is not working. This is the working board because the a blinking LED is working. But let's see what happened when I used the wrong board. So I got this. And now I ho also have a message USB device is not recognized by the computer and the board is totally dead. We have here three LEDs that are working, a, a red, green, and orange. And I have to solve this. So let's see if the board is totally ruined or not. The problem here is that we don't have a USB interface chip, which means that the USB is connected directly to the chip. So if we have burned something wrong, so we don't have bootloader anymore and there is nothing we can do uh, in order to make it work. What we can do is use the ISP AVR programmer, which I bought a long time ago. This is an uh, AVR programmer. The name is USB AVRSP XP2 and it comes with a USB cable and a connector of six pins. And also we have a marking on uh, the box itself which says what are the pins. For example, uh, pin number one is MISO. Pin number 2 is VCC, 3 is S-Clock, 4 is MOSI, 5 is RESET, and 6 is GND. Okay, so what we can do, my idea is to try and fix the wrong board, and we will try to do it by reading the program from this board, reading the hex file that is configuring all the chips, including the fuses, and the PROM and the E square PROM and everything. So it will also read the bootloader and we might be able to fix this one. So what do we need? So first of all, we need uh, this AVR programmer because we need an interface that is different than the USB and we will use a uh, the SPI, SPI connector in order to overcome the USB and uh, burn and load directly directly from the chip itself by a SPI protocol. What we also need is AVR Studio software which I have downloaded before and uh, we also need to do the RTFM, which means read the fucking manual. So in the manual that I've downloaded, sorry for the language, in the manual that I've uh, downloaded from the uh, site that uh, gave me uh, these boards, these nice boards, there is also explanation how to add uh, the ability for the Arduino program to program these boards because it is not inside the Arduino uh, 1.6.4 it doesn't come inside so let's see okay so I have the AVR studio software which I have downloaded inside we have AVR programming uh, if we have installed uh, our programmer and succeeded because uh, this is uh, Windows 8 and uh, 
uh, it is a little tricky uh, to configure it correct what I did is downloaded from the uh, from the AVR uh, site a driver that is called driver Atmel bundle uh, 7.3 Again, I will see the number. Uh, 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 the number, the number. Okay. So what I have here is a driver Atmel bundle 7.0.888 CUDA exe, which helped me to install uh, the driver. If the driver is installed correctly, so we will have. Uh, when we are opening inside the tool, the ability to see AVRSP MKLL. Also, another very nice feature in this one is that if we will go to the tool, we can check if the AVR tool firmware is upgradable. And I will put it in the window. And if we can, if we will be able to get a newer version of firmware so we will see it here and by the upgrade it will download it from the internet and uh, and reburn a new software in the programmer which is a very nice fit okay so we are going to programmer again so if you have it all correct so uh, we will see it like this okay another thing that we have to find out is what the hell is this chip okay so uh, we can see here that uh, again uh, this is uh, taken from spark fun uh, site we can see here the the number of this chip which is atmel mega 32u4 okay so in our programmer we have to uh, choose the correct chip isp apply and another important thing this programmer although we should connect uh, at least the ground is not supplying power to the board so we will need to connect the USB connector with the ISP in order to be able to program our software I will show that okay so here is my uh, AVR programmer by the way, if we have installed it correctly, so we will have inside a green light, the red and the green also. So we have here six pins. I have connected the six pin to this board, okay, according to the page that I have shown. And we need to connect uh, all these pin, which are the MISO, uh, the MOSI, the clock, uh, the VCC, the GND, and the reset. All should be connected as I did here. Okay? So these are the pins. We can see that sh we should connect it inside the board. Pin number 16, pin number 14, pin number 15. By the way, it's not going by regular order as we can see. Also, we should connect the VCC, the reset, and the ground. It all appears here. And uh, the number of the pins is pin number one. So what is pin number one? This is a, li a little tricky. Pin number one is the red one. And if we can notice, the red one is connected to a little arrow. The arrow is pin number one. So next to pin number one is three. And next to it is 5 and the other side is 2 it is going 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the order of the pins okay so after connecting it now we want to uh, be able to load the again all the data the EEPROM refuse the memory, everything that is inside in order to be able to fix the other board. Again, I will show again the problem in the other board. The problem is 
that when I connect USB, it is like this. And I also have a... Ah, uh, this one is working, sorry. Let's take the board that is not working, this one. And I also have a message, message inside a computer, which said USB stopped working. Hope you can see it better now. USB device is not recognized when I connect this board. That is uh, actually, you can say that it is ruined. Okay, so USB is not recognized. Okay, so now let's try to fix this board. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so now I'm back to my software with the working board. I'm connected the USB in order to give it power. And let's try uh, to read this. So after doing apply, we will read the device ID and we can see that the voltage is okay. By the way, see here, the ISP clock frequency must be lower than a quarter of the frequency of the device operation. My device is 8 MHz, so I need 2 MHz or lower. After setting it, I get that everything is okay. Uh, I will go to uh, memories and now I will uh, read the device, give it a name. Let's put a pro micro boot and I will do a save and we can see that reading flash OK. By the way, uh, we can see here that it is really the fuses, the lock bits and the memories and everything we have inside. So now I have uh, the data for my new device. So what I should do now is connect the broken device, which I'm doing right now. Of course, I have to change all the ISP connection from one board to the other. Doing it right now. And I know that this board is dead. I'm supplying power to the board. Again, I see all the LEDs. And now what I will do, I will do a program. So uh, I'm going back to the memories and I will choose my file, which pro micro boot and program. We can see very fine flash okay, everything is okay. And now uh, because I've also burn uh, the software so the LED uh, is also blinking okay so uh, I will show it in a moment okay so now I'm back in the broken board and we can see that the LED is blinking because it burned not just the bootloader but also the program that was in the memory uh, and all the data so I get it all fixed with the program and now I will be back uh, to my Arduino software in order to see that uh, it is uh, fixed. So I will now run my Arduino software. By the way, we can see that uh, I can now disconnect all, all the ISP connection. And when I connect it to the USB, There is no message anymore. So uh, how I will know that it is okay? I will change the Blink LED uh, software in order for it to be instead of uh, 100 millisecond, I will put it to uh, sorry one second to 100 millisecond, so it will flash much faster. Also, I have to configure here instead of digital write pin 13 that is uh, good for all the other Arduino here, the output LED is on pin 17 and not 13. Okay, so now I will try to burn the software, compiling 
in uploading and we can see that the LED is blinking fast so everything is good as a crystal <laughs> okay thank you and bye bye